The Bentley Continental GT is an absolute classic. These things have been around for a very long time now, almost 15 years in production. They first hit the streets back in 2003, and uh, that's pretty rare for a vehicle model, especially one in this area that like, you know, sport car, supercar, luxury car type mix. And uh, that's what the Bentley does best. Now, um, this one right here is the Bentley Continental GT Speed. So they've had quite a few different, like, kind of like sub models over the years. It's all the same base car, but uh, the Speed Edition, it gives it a little bit more power. It's over 600 horsepower, top speed over 200 miles an hour. And uh, this thing's a monster, but it's not all about the performance specs. You know what I mean? Like, Bentleys are the pinnacle of performance but mixed with luxury and comfort. So they're big, they're heavy, they have a lot thrown into like their, their you know, interiors and the, the seats and stuff like that. Like they aren't cutting fat to make it lighter, to make it more performance based. They kind of have the best of both worlds and that's what makes a Bentley a Bentley. So I'm excited to check this thing out. The one thing I'm not really fond of right here is the color, okay? So this is the stock color this thing came with and we are definitely gonna be switching that up. So let's go ahead and find some new designs for this thing. See if we want to do any, oh wow. Okay, so we could have a crazy wrap on there. We have a matte finish or a glossy finish. Um, ooh, that looks pretty sexy right there. That's kind of cool. We've got a race car Bentley. Oh, that, I actually really like that. That's pretty cool. We've got the green trim, camo and matte black. That doesn't look too bad either. Dude, a lot of these are super sick. That looks like an Aston Martin Bentley. Um, Dude, that's pretty sick too. I like the race car looking ones for some reason. I don't really think of a Bentley as a race car, you know what I mean? But like, I think that looks pretty good. I think that's what we might go with. I don't know, the camo one doesn't look too bad. I think we're gonna, let's go with that white one. I think it's a little bit different, a little bit fun. I like the, the highlighter yellow rims and stuff like that. We're just, we're gonna mix it up a little bit here. We went super classic in yesterday's episode with the F12 Berlinetta. So uh, we'll branch out a little bit here and, um, and make this thing a race car. So speaking of race cars, let's upgrade its stats. All right, guys. So our upgrade is complete. Holy cow. We dropped over a thousand pounds on this thing. Can you guys believe it? We also took the horsepower from 617 up to over a thousand and took it from an A795 to an S2 950. This thing is definitely race car worthy holy cow i i was not expecting us to be able to upgrade it that much like that is a huge jump over 150 point difference on the uh the class scale there so that is just absolutely insane dude this thing looks so mean look at this oh my goodness i actually really look at that rear diffuser back there that back end is something else man all right, our Bentley race car is ready and raring to go. Let's go ahead and hop inside, see what we've going on in here. Looks like we've got red trim all over everything, along with that diamond stitched leather. That is so sexy, dude. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and start this thing up. Oh, this thing grumbles, baby. It doesn't whine like a lot of the other cars that we upgrade. This thing... Sounds like it wants to rip your throat out. So this is going to be fun. And we are going to be continuing on with our race championship from yesterday. So we did the F12 TDF. We're three races in. We are in first place currently in terms of points, which is good. But they've been close races, so it's kind of exciting. Looks like our, our first race is going to be down here in the rain for it. It's going to be a point to point. So I'm going to head down there. And I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, fellas, here we go. Oh man, we've got a uh, giant trophy truck back there. Looks like people are kind of switch. Ooh, Rolls Royce. These weren't the cars people were rocking in yesterday's episode, so I guess they wanted to up their game a little bit for us here. Oh man, we are gonna struggle with turns in this thing, dude. This thing does not like turning or stopping. Once it gets going, comes in like a freaking wrecking ball, dude. Like what? We couldn't stop right there. All right, here we go. If we could get some straights, we're going to be all right. This thing would be crazy fast, but got to watch out for those turns. Really got to pay attention to the uh, the route down in the bottom left. We'll get ourselves into some trouble. We aren't paying attention. I feel like some of these turns, if 
we wait to break until they're in, in view, then it's going to be too late. Woo! We are flying, bro. These are the straights we wanted right here. This is easy. 170 miles an hour. Let's try to get up to 200 through town. Oh my gosh. I'm a little bit too nervous, I'm not gonna lie. We almost went flying off the road right there. Keep up, baby! Alright, 75th the way through the race. Gonna hop inside. Let's see what we've got going on in here. So we have a 9 degree turn coming up. We're gonna watch out for that. Break, 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 break. Nice. Alright, we're okay. We still almost ended up hitting the wall, dude. That is so crazy. This thing, it's like an elephant, bro. Like a, like a rhino. It's rhino charging. And once it gets going, it's not going to be stopping anytime soon. All right. We ended up getting the first there. This thing is a very unique car. It performs very uniquely. It's kind of fun. So, anyway, we have one more race in this championship. Let's go finish it out. Right now, we have a, uh, wow. We have a huge lead. We could get last place and still win this thing, but we're still going to try for first. The final race of the championship. Let's get it, guys. Let's see what we can do. So we decided to bring out the Revon Tone today. That's interesting. Bold strategy. Let's see how it plays out. But here we go, guys. Hopefully, we can finish out with another win. One thing I will say that this thing does well is we get almost no wheel spin. Like on corners or accelerating and stuff like that. Some of the lighter cars that have a ton of horsepower and stuff... You get a lot of wheel spin. This thing is planted to the ground, bro. Gravity loves this thing. It's, what was it? It was 5,000 pounds. We took 1,000 off with our weight reduction, so. It is all four tires just rooted in the ground at all times, which is kind of nice. Just put the pedal to the metal and not even really worry about it. Look at that, look how fast it recovers. Even when you enter a turn, like, crazy fast. You don't really run into any problems with like under or oversteer or anything, which is really nice. All right. Well, halfway through the race, let's go ahead and hop inside and see what we can do here for the, the last stretch. Looks like we've got a nice long route into town here. We'll start getting a little bit crazier. I right, probably want to start. Oh, this is not good. Not good. Not good. Woo! We made it out alive. We hit that jump and we lost a lot of ground to be able to stop. That's the worst, man. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, okay. This guy's. This guy's trying to race with us. Oh my gosh, man. Gravity does some weird stuff to this car, bro. All the forces are just a little bit. Unnatural. Gravity, momentum, everything. All right. Final little section here, guys. Take a left, take a right. Take a left, I'm gonna use the e-brake, screw it. Ah, oh, baby! All right, and that's gonna be all she wrote for this championship, guys. Congrats on the win, good stuff. That was a dominating performance. All right, we're gonna move on. We're gonna do one more race in this episode and I will see you guys there. This one should be fun. Here we go, guys. This is gonna be the Timber Mill Trail. So we, wow, look at that glare right there. Holy sun. Anyway, um, this is gonna be an off-road race. We're gonna see what this thing can do off the streets, baby. She's a freak on the streets, but is she in the, oh, actually we're on road. Okay, interesting. I'm not even, I honestly don't know. Look at that drop head right there, baby. Just enjoying the rays. Too bad you're gonna get beat, son. I actually saw a uh, drop top, I think it was a Bentley Continental convertible, GT convertible, uh, yesterday. I was over on the beach, over on the east side of Florida, over at uh, Ray's house, and we were going to breakfast in the morning, and there's this group of like four blonde girls in a drop top, Bitly Continental just cruising down the, the road next to the beach. It was like, hey, what up? What up? Oh, I'm just kidding. Chelsea, love you. 
<laughs> no, it was it was cool though. You don't see too many Bitleys, I feel like. I don't really see a lot of them. Here in Orlando, I see probably Ferraris the most. Uh, seen a few Lambos, but definitely definitely Ferraris are the, what I've seen the most of. I've been seeing a lot more JDM stuff recently too. I've seen an NSX uh, just the other day. Bunch of R32s, which is always exciting. Haven't seen an R34 yet, unfortunately, but... All right, guys, here we go. We got to step this up. This is going to be an exhibition race, so we want to make sure we get first here. It's not like this is a championship where we can make it up. We're trying to go for 100% completion on this game, and if we're going to get that, we need to finish first here. Love how I was talking trash this convertible Rolls Royce here, and now he's beating me. Karma, baby, karma. Yes! It worked, baby! I was lining that up, boys! I got all quiet. I was like, I just, I gotta make sure I get this. I can't miss this. I can't miss this. We got it. Ooh, turn, dog, it turned. Okay, so we are three quarters of the way through the race here. Oh my gosh. Of course, it's an F12 that's giving us a hard time. Wouldn't expect anything less. Right, this is gonna be a tough little section. Woo! All right, here we go, guys. Straight line to the finish. So make sure that TD or the not TDF. It was just a normal F12. Make sure that doesn't sneak up behind us again. I don't think it's going to. All right. Very successful episode. We finished out, got gold in the championship, got gold in the next exhibition race. Could not get any better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Bentley Continental GT. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in our next episode. Peace out.